Hi everyone, my name is Adam. Welcome back to my channel. Today I would like to show you how to install and operate with Etka 8.2, which you can get from our website. Please also do not forget to subscribe my channel if you wish more weekly updates on Hubble my Net. Right guys, so first of all you need to download all Etka files directly onto your computer. Then we need to unpack the first file. This is the big multiple parts archive and we need to unpack only the, the first one. Uh, if you are the Mac user, you will need to download the external application because the archive is on the 7-zip type. So from the App Store, you need to get the Unarchiver, which will work fine with, uh, with 7-zip. If you are the Linux or the Windows user, you will need to download the 7-zip or G application and install it. And then you just need to click on the right mouse, open with on Mac the Unarchiver, on the Windows there will be the 7-zip option. So let's, let's open it and it will extract the archive. The another tool which you will need is the VirtualBox, which you can get also for free from the VirtualBox.org. Then just we'll go to the Downloads, and here we need to select your operation system. If you have the Windows, then click on the Windows host for macOS or for the Linux here. Right, so. I'm gonna wait now until we finish the unpacking the file and I'm gonna back to you. The is that has been unpacked so we can enter just the, the new created folder. Uh, before starting it up make sure you got the VirtualBox installed on your computer. Then just double click on that file with VBox ending and the VirtualBox manager will be starting up. Um, from here we can adjust the settings of the virtual machine in system tab. You can add a bit more uh, RAM memory. I got quite a powerful computer so I can leave it on the 10 gigabytes. By default you will have around 2 gigs, 2 gigs I think. From the processor I can also add the 4 cores to be used by the virtual machine. I just click OK and start. <laughs> the whole procedure looks the same on macOS, Windows or Linux. There is no actually any differences. Alright, so the system has just starting, started up. To enter the Edka, just need simply click on to the Edka icon. And here we are, we got the Audi commercial vehicles. Volkswagen and the Seat. For example, let's and Skoda. Sorry, uh, let's jump into the Audi. By default, there is the English language, but you can change it onto the Deutsch, French, and another listed on that list. Just for example, you jump to the Dansk, and we see the whole interface is changing the and uh, the language. Right, let's back to the English. There might also happen, if you start the ETCA, you might see that, that screen like here. Uh, just click on to the OK. Now there is also the update available, but we are not gonna do it right now. To get rid of that expire uh, window, Go to the Etka Expire Extender, check the Etka, and click onto the each option. And then the expire time will be extended. Uh, you can also perform the online update for Etka. You just need to go to the Etka Online Updater, click onto the check, and start online updater. It will download the all newest data. 
and then by running the etka the update screen should prompt and if you wish to upgrade just click on to the yes and we perform the the update all right i hope that video will help you to start your etka uh, on your computers if you wish more weekly updates on upgrade my audinet please don't forget to subscribe and see you in the next movie